Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bass Chico, and I'm back with another video. So, look, y'all, I was just chilling. I was in bed. I woke up, right? I woke up kind of late, bro. I don't wake up till like I think like one or two ish. And um, uh, I got a notification. DDG dropped this song, and it's a music video. I never heard the song before. I think it just dropped at the same time the audio and the video. We about to react to that. Right? It's gonna be the first link in the description. Make sure y'all go check it out. Go drop a like. Go leave a comment. Go sub. You know what I'm saying? Go show love to DDG. And if y'all enjoy my reaction, you know what I'm saying? Subscribe. We ain't wasting no more time. Let's get into this, bro. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I, li I like the the visuals already, you know what I'm saying? And it goes with the lyrics, too. He talks about, when he talks about who he's learning from, he shows the people that he looks up to. Did he, I never knew he, he, Kendrick, okay. I know, I know he's a big fan of Drake, and you know what I'm saying, looks up to him, but I ain't know. That's dope. That, that's a nice lineup. Hold on, who's on that again? Drake, Kanye, Kendrick. Even though Kanye bugging the fuck out right now, bro. All right, I know he just dropped this album, but I don't know. Personally, I feel like the album is okay. Um, but a lot of people are more focused as why he's making this type of album because of what happened, the controversy that's going around. He's trying to use like God to protect him. Like, yo, I'm a Christian, ah, bro. Kanye's bugging out. All right. People really hear me and give me a chance. Back wheels, big lighters, and magical plants. Spark a blunt when you listen to lyrics and hands. I bought a mansion in the rafe, I just blew my events. Ariana from Nickelodeon, Selena from Disney Channel, and Drake gotta start off the grass. What's the difference for me? DDG off of YouTube. If they did it, then me too. Nobody gonna stop me. I'm just trying to be different. Valedictorian is the Okay, hey, he got a point, bro. Hey, I fuck with this, G. Like, this is a different type of uh, DDG I haven't heard, like him storytelling or just like, usually he be just talking his shit on the songs, you feel me? Ain't nothing wrong with that. I fuck with that, but this is more, I don't know, you get to hear him like that, like tell his story more, I guess. Album and I hope that you listen. November 1st is the day where my history written. I'ma be the first nigga to ever make this transition. I just left Detroit performing halftime for the pisses. I be switching it up. Sponsorship sky high, they six figures and up. Talk to God and he told me keep living. Damn, and if this damn nigga, home, nigga, you hear that? My man say he's getting six figures from sponsorships, my nigga. He ain't, he ain't getting less than that, all right? That's tough. It's dope to see this, though. Especially for the, I know the fans of him who've watched him from college and all that. That's when I started watching him where he was transitioning, moving to LA and stuff like that. And it's dope, bro. All right. That's inspiring, bro. So y'all seen the man's, bro. If he could do this, anybody could do it. You know what I'm saying? You just got to keep doing you and grind hard for whatever you, you know what I'm saying? I promise I'm not giving it up. Positive energy, Daryl. You can't think like that. The world watching, stay focused. You can't blink like that. Don't compare yourself to Drake. You're not up there yet. Keep working. It'll come. And I promise you next. I went to Leeds Festival. It's like four hours from London. 2 p.m. slot empty. I thought nobody was coming. Till I came on stage and they started to come in. 3,000 packed out. I had the whole place jumping. That's when I knew it was something. I bought a Richard Mill watch because I seen Drake with it. If I won't respect like him, I had to go get it. Got 150K for the jeweler and spent it. My excuse why I did it. I invest in my image. I'm just trying to be different. Valedictorian is the album, and I hope that you listen. November 1st is the day when my history written. I'm going to be the first nigga to ever make this transition. I just left Detroit performing halftime for the pisses. Yeah. I just left Detroit performing halftime for the pisses. Yeah. Valedictorian. My first debut album. November 1st. Go get it. I hope that you listen. I hope you support me. Yeah. 
Yo, look, I'm gonna tell y'all like this. This shit is cold, bruh. Like, my man, he did just uh, finish performing for the Pistons. I was watching that the other day. And I'm like, damn, okay, DDG. I hear like, bro, that's how you know, my nigga. He's back. He's doing it. I mean, he's, he's from Pontiac, but it's like, what, 20 minutes away from Detroit? That's pretty much his city, you know what I'm saying? Probably used to hang out down there sometimes. Or even then, it's in his state. And he's repping them, you know what I'm saying? He came back as one of the big dogs to perform at the the one of the first games of the season probably i don't know and it's cold bro all right um his album's dropping he's doing his thing the song is dope and also from the video if y'all realize there were clips of like from his old music videos and from the performance and stuff like that all right um so this is like a little promo type of song and i respect it it was dope other than that what the fuck man I don't know why my computer is like this. I keep getting notifications from Twitch. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If y'all did, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe, turn on post noties. Make sure y'all go check out the track. That's hot. I give it a nine. I give it like a nine out of ten. Really, I will, cause in all honesty, I've never heard DDG rap like that. All right, I like. I don't know if y'all understand what I mean, but yeah, for those of y'all who do, shout out to y'all. I'm out of here, bro.